Do we have the capability to ensure that we don't see another pandemic, the like of which uh, we saw while you were leading the World Health, or the World Health Organization? <laughs> 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 yeah. I think the answer to that is we're unprepared and we're still vulnerable to the same uh, problem. But the good news is, based on the lessons learned, we're building something. For instance, we're trying to address the surveillance by building a collaborative intelligence and a mechanism to share pathogens so that can be used for research and, and development. And for countries who, are, who have potential, they're moving into uh, production of the, the, the tools to address the equity problems. And there is a pandemic fund now created. The World Bank is running it, and WHO is part of the secretariat. And there are many other initiatives that have started. This is really important. Uh, but the key is how can we have a, a binding pandemic agreement uh, that member states would respect. So if anything happens, first of all, the best is to prevent it. And that's why we're building capacity. But we need to have a binding uh, ar ar ag agreement in order uh, to prevent or to early detect and respond in a better way. So, And that's what you're hoping for this year. Exactly. That's what you're hoping so, to see this year. As we speak, member states are now negotiating. Yes. And I have been following the negotiation, and I'm, full, I'm hopeful that by May 2024 there will be a deal. And that will help us to prepare better and prevent the same thing with COVID like COVID uh, from, from happening.